Hello everybody, Phyllis Moore here, Philosophically Speaking. I appreciate you tuning into my channel and invite you to click like, share, subscribe, let other people kind of get the word here, especially if it's something that can be relatable. You know, we're all connected. It's helpful to know that in this circle, whatever normalcy is, that we all still fit in and we're not out there by ourselves. Um, I'm in my car today, my new car. It's new to me, but it's also a new car. And I don't do this often, but uh, there was a, a post that I did that was in my former car and oh gosh you know it got a lot of a lot of views and all my husband could say every time he would just laugh and say you know the the roof that not the roof but the ceiling if you will of the car was dirty <laughs> it was lighter in color and it looked horrible the angle i had and it was like oh my gosh i mean i guess i could pull it down or you know whatever re redo it or reupholster but too late now and so i'm pretty sure this one's okay so maybe that will not be conflicting and distracting and whatever but it's fitting for me to be in my car as I do this because I'm going to talk about something that is in automobiles. And I will tell you, there are a lot of figures of speech that folks don't don't use, or if they do, they're they're kind of dated in the sense. I remember someone telling me that you know the the, the figure of speech like a broken record, or as my mom would say. You know, it's like Grand Central Station in here. Well, Grand Central Station still is a thing, although I don't know how, how busy it is with a pandemic. But broken record may not be familiar to everyone if you didn't grow up in the era when you listened to records. Because then we went to CDs, 8-track tapes, and now everything is streamed and, and whatever. So, you know, you don't have records. You call them vinyl. But um, what I'm going to say is has withstood the test of time, even though it may not be in its natural same form. Show of hands, pun intended, show of hands, who uses the glove compartment in your vehicle for gloves? Do you have gloves there? The other day I was driving down the road and it was chilly. It was early in the morning and I my hands were a bit cool and and uh, I thought gosh I wish I had some gloves and then I flashed to my glove compartment there's no gloves in there who has gloves in the glove compartment and yet that is what it was I guess designed in the early stages of vehicles and they called it I guess a glove box glove compartment depending on where you were and it was really for driving gloves because that was a thing but we don't have any driving gloves. We don't put mittens or gloves to keep our hands warm in a glove compartment, right? If you're anything like me, you have other things there. You know, you have a map perhaps, or your registration and, and different things that you need for the car. Maybe your manual that came with the vehicle. Um, you might have, you know, whatever, a razor, tweezers, tissues, medicine, makeup, you know, whatever, whatever stuff, and, and it may be like a proverbial junk drawer that you got all kinds of stuff stuffed in there. Everything but gloves. But we still call it a glove compartment, right? Go figure. Anyway, I just thought it'd be very interesting to have a little of that history and also the realization that something that we all call it, you know, we know it's in the glove box, it's in the glove compartment, and yet when we think of gloves, we don't put them in the compartment. Just don't. Anyway, <laughs> something to think about, smile about, and maybe just distract you from the mundane or bizarre things that are going on around us. Anyway, thank you again for tuning in. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch up with you again soon. Bye.